I'm Mick O'Brien from O'Brien Contractors. We're down here today on a project in Havering, uh, doing some carrying out works on sports pitches. The use of machine control has been particularly relevant on this job from day one. So in practical terms here at the moment, you can see in the background we've got a D6N working. He's carrying out a filling operation underneath the multi-use games area. Um, on the other side of the site, where we're, where we're constructing 3G pitch, ground levels over there need to be reduced. So we have an excavator over there um, running on machine control again. He's, he's reducing ground to the correct level first time. We're bringing suitable material in here to this side, levelling with our, with our D6. Um, again, both are balancing up very well. I've just come down to have a check up on what's going on. However, the information is already relayed back to our engineer, Gareth, in, in the head office. So we're based in Leamington Spa and Gareth's already fully aware of where we are level wise. He's actually about today to make some small design changes and we can go and see that as Gareth progresses back in the comfort of his office without running up and down the M1. Here we are some three hours later after our drive back up the M1, uh, back here at our offices in Leamington and we'll go in and meet Gareth. He's our, as I mentioned down at Broxhill, he's our 3D machine control specialist. We'll go and see how Gareth's got on, okay? I'm Gareth Price, I work for O'Brien Contractors um, as engineering surveyor. Um, part of my role is to manage the Trimble machine control that we run throughout the company on our excavators and dozers. I do all the three-dimensional modelling works um, and the sort of 3D design, um, which we then feed in through Trimble Business Centre to make a design model to help us build the site remotely. We have a very bespoke system where we can analyse quantities over the site. So. From initial concept phase, we'll drop in and we'll do an OGL survey. We'll analyse the client's design and then we'll offer them a number of optimised strategies. Yeah, well, one of the great things with the system is we have the two-way uh, flow of information. So we can not only feed a revised design from the office through cyberspace, through Trimble Connected Community to the machines, we can also get a flow of information back. So we receive survey information back into the office from the machines which then enables us to analyse it against our concept model. Um, not only does that mean we can ensure a high standard of quality because we know we're working to the right depths, we know we're in the right ballpark, we know we're trimming to the right levels. It also enables us, if things are changing, if compaction is different to how we anticipated it was going to be, it gives us the option then to manipulate and further optimise the model at a number of various stages as we go through the contract. Romford being a sports pitch, we obviously have to comply to the FIFA standards. Um, so we do work to a very tight tolerance. So we tend to drop in and we use the GPS guided machine control to do our first stage earthworks. Once we start to place the stone, we then drop onto a laser guided system to get ourselves to a probably plus or minus five mil tolerance. So we know we can achieve the exact levels and cross falls required for such a such a good facility. So um, literally we're just about now, we've just done sort of a phase two update to the, the contract we're working on in Broxhill on the sports pitch. So we've made a couple of tweaks to the model as we've gone, just trying to optimise our earthwork strategy a little bit more. Um, so we're just about to press the button, send that off through Trimble Connected Community through Cyberspace, and within a matter of minutes, it will be live on the machines down there and they'll be working to the latest model. Mm -hmm.